Yo, it's your boy the dictator himself. So today I got my boy with me. Tom C. Cheese in the Tom building. Tom C. Tom Let's C. Go. Yeah. So today I came back with another episode. 10 things mm -hmm. that clients hate. Remember last time we did um, 10 things that barbers hate. So today we're back with 10 things that clients hate. You don't like. So if you're a client, make sure you share this video to your barber that the, your barber knows what you hate. That's right. That's right. And then <laughs> I'm gonna count from 10, from one up to 10. Yeah. So number one, the barber that talks too much. He's here. Yapa, 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 He's yapa, here. yapa. <laughs> Remember, when you, imagine you just came to the shop and then the barber's busy like, where's your sister? <laughs> how, many, how many kids does she have? All the she. How old is she? Just All those type of questions, like, they're, come on, they're, not, they're irrelevant. You don't have to get that personal mm. to ask a lot of questions about that. You can just say, yo, how are you doing, man? How's your day going? Small talk. Small talk. You don't have to go to that too far. People get bored. People, like, clients hate those type of things where you have to ask them a lot. Talking too much, brah, chill. I'm Do not saying job. don't talk, but talk, but don't talk too much. Number two, yeah. keep us that bite. Oof. You know, you're trying to get a nice line up, but the machine is too sharp. It's the worst. Especially when you get to the sensitive part of mm. your back. Now you're just like, you're trying to run away because chicken. the machine yeah. is too sharp. It's too, it's, too much, it's too much painful. Yeah. So make sure if you're a barber, set your, uh, your machine nicely so that they're not that sharp, so that you don't bite clients. Exactly. Just make sure clients don't don't like that. They hate it when your machine is too biting. Exactly. Number three. Barbers that are always on their phone. You know, you're trying to get a haircut and then the barber. Hello. All the time. All the time. He's yeah. trying to pick up calls. All the time. You're getting a haircut. All the time the calls are coming. When are you going to finish, bro? Take me serious yeah. as a client, you know what I'm saying? This is business. Cutting someone. Yeah. They, they, they are here because they want to go somewhere. You're wasting their time. Stop being on your phone too much. I'm not saying don't be on your phone, but don't be on your phone too much. You busy. Hey, did you saw? Did you saw? <laughs> did you saw Ronaldo? <laughs> hey, come on, come bro. Down. This nigga is trying to get a haircut. That's Make it. sure. Do the service first and then you talk. You're trying talk. to do anything now. See, is. Number four. The barber that makes you wait for too long. <laughs> wait for too long. There are two things that can, a barber can make you wait. It's either he's cutting you, mm. he's just taking too much time for no reason. Yeah. You know a haircut can take like 20 to 25 or 25 to 30 minutes. It depends. It depends. The experience also counts. If you have more experience, that means you know a lot of things, so it will be much less time for you. But now, Let's say, for example, a barber's taking an hour to two minutes for a haircut. It's not the one. He, this person needs to go somewhere. Bro. He's here to get a cut and go wherever he's going. So make sure that you guys are in the same yeah. thing. Just make sure 25 to 30 minutes is enough. And don't be too fast as well. Yeah. That's also not trustworthy. Hey. If you're going to cut me in don't five be... minutes, <laughs> don't hey. be too fast. <laughs> Just make sure yeah. you're in between. Yeah. Balance the thing that even the, the clients just get satisfied with what you are doing. Yeah. Number five. Barbers that are trying to say things. You know, you're trying to get a haircut. Yeah. The barber say, nah, have you, have, do you know about this palm? <laughs> it's good for your hair. <laughs> do you know about this mousse? I just trying to, like, you know I'm just trying to get face? a haircut. That's all. Do you know about this? Nah, this nigga is here for haircuts. I'll ask. He will ask if he needs something. Yeah. I'm like, yo, hey, don't you know something that I can use to do this and this? Yeah. And you can tell, I can recommend this or I have this. Yeah. I'm selling this. Or maybe when you are putting a permit, you're like, yo, where did you get it? And we're like, no, I do sell them. Yeah. Not like you now trying to, come on, bro, you're just making this guy to be a treasure. They don't like that. Don't be a salesperson. Yeah. Do the job, right? And then he will ask you where yeah. to get the product. That's all. Number six. The barber that keeps 
going through a hairline multiple times. The hairline is done, but the barber is still, still on your hairline. Bro, come on. You Finish, end, yeah. You end up pushing up yeah. my hairline too true, bad. True. Makes you anxious as well. Yeah, you keep thinking, is there something wrong? Now you start seeing errors like I thought. It's on the hairline yeah. for so long. Yeah. Bro, don't take too much time. Do what, what you gotta do. Five minutes, you're down with the hairline. Deep. And then you're taking 10 minutes on the hairline. Bro, now this nigga's worried. Are you pushing up mm, my hairline? What's better? going on? Yeah. Come on, bro. Don't take too much time on the hairline. Make sure the guy is satisfied with what you're doing. Oh. Number seven. The barber that doesn't know how to use an alcohol. You know, it's, mm. it's, 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 you have to use an alcohol if you're a barber because you're cutting a lot of people with uh, one machine but uh, different people. Mm. So you make sure you have to sterilize your machine. People don't like that. You just get a new, uh, another person just came in and then you just take the machine. Fam. You don't even sterilize the machine. They don't so like that. Dirty. And then, so let's say for example, you die with a haircut. You need to sterilize a person. You get, there's a spirit. You are like this. Like, nigga, you Come spray on. my clothes. Just, like, this thing's you know, not. Just get yeah. something a sponge or a tissue. And then spray, uh, sp spray, spray on the tissue, and then you come and do it. Don't spray the person. Jeez, jeez, now it's on my ears and stuff. Like it's all yeah. over the person now. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's raining on the person. Right? <laughs> so come on, it's not raining. Get the booze rain on me. <laughs> spray on something and then wipe them with the spirit. Don't yeah. spray all over, bruh. Right? You'll be like this now. You're running away. Come on. Let's go number eight. The barber that's always walking away from client. <laughs> Yo, Bryce, can I, can, I, can I please go to the bathroom? Oh, yeah. Beg again, hey, bro, can I please get, go, go get my food? Bro, can I call the... Bro, come on. When are you going to finish? When are you going to finish? Are you even taking me seriously type thing, you know? like You know you, uh, you're going to be here. If you know that you're going to get hungry, make sure when you come, get your food ready. Get your thing prepared. You don't have to walk away from client waiting for you. Yeah. They're already on your chair. Make sure you finish them on time and then they leave. And then if you know that you have things to do, make sure that you do them before they even came to your chair. Yeah. So that they, they can come and get a haircut and go wherever they're going. Okay. Number nine. The barber that always asking you, am I doing the right thing? <laughs> Is it right? Is it fun? Bro, listen, a moment a client walking my chair, first thing I have to ask him, okay, I greet the person, ask him, which haircut do you want to cut? Mm. Definitely, as soon as he told me the haircut, I know what he needs. And then I don't have to ask him through the process of the yeah. haircut. It's so fine. Is it fun? Am I doing the right way? Come on, bro. It's like you're showing yourself that yeah. you don't know what you're doing. How do I trust you like that? How right? can you be trusted? Mm. If you keep on asking all the all over the process of the haircut, bro, come on. If you're a barber, ask them everything. How do you want your beard to be trimmed? Ask them everything. You don't have to be like, is it right? Is Fine. it not? Is yeah. it? Come on. Bro. Am I the barber now? I'm not supposed to know. You know. It's like now yeah. he's the one cutting himself, yeah. bro. You, he explained what you want. That's it. So you give him what he told you to do. Simple as that. You don't have to be asking. Now he's, he's not even sure that you know what she exactly. what what he wanted. Yeah. So come on, Bubbles. never coming back again. If you do that, trust me, I'm gone. <laughs> I'm so he, gone. He from himself. And then number ten, the last one. The barber that takes too long mm. to finish their cut. Taking too long. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> too long. Come on. Too long. <laughs> Too long. I know maybe you're trying to finance the haircut, but come on. Yeah. You're taking too long. The nigga need to go somewhere. He needs to go wherever he's planning to go. He's yet to get a haircut and go. That's it. But you're taking too long. Remember, don't be too, too, too long and don't be too, too fast. Mm. So make sure you're in between balance. 25 to 30 minutes. Nice balance. Now. You understand? Don't take too long <laughs> on the clans. They hate it. Yeah. They hate it. So it's your boy the dictator himself. And your boy tell me what sick. you think and tell me down below in the comment what you hate on the barber.